What up, your squad? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's been a minute since y'all seen me. Have you missed me? Did you miss me? Like Martin says, okay. But anyways, I wanted to come in with you guys to do a sit-down video. Um, this is going to be my first in video coming back explaining a whole lot, you guys. This has been a whole lot. I want to say 2023 has been a life changer for me and my family, you guys. It's just been crazy. It's just been like one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. Okay. So... I, let me go ahead and get the logistics out the way, and then we're going to get into why y'all are watching this video, okay? So, if you are a returning supporter, <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button. And make sure you thumbs up this video and share this video out all across your social media platforms you guys i want to say thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos to have it since i even have not even been on youtube um i want to thank all my sisters y'all already know who you are tawana yvette mrs newton big noise big family big noise um let me see jacayla and um Lord, so many of y'all, I can't keep up with everybody's name, but I just want to say thank y'all guys for supporting my channel. Even though I haven't been there, y'all be like, okay, oh, when you gonna come back? And I be like, I'm coming, and then things happen, and then I don't come, but I still be supporting you guys. I watch y'all videos in between time, so I just appreciate you guys. Appreciate all y'all. Just so much stuff that I want to do, so many videos. I just want to just, uh get on here and explain a whole lot of things you guys i got a lot of videos just stacked up i got some uh try on haul some sheen sheen a uh, sheen try on hauls that i want to do you guys so that's going to be something new coming to the channel as well i want to introduce a little bit of sewing some fringes on our dresses on so my husband and my son's shirt i want to show y'all guys how i do that so, just a lot of new things that I'm incorporating with my channel that I'm doing. Um, I'm in the process of revamping my whole entire YouTube channel. Um, so, I'm in the process of working that. I'm going to be doing a new intro. I'm going to have a, a new, new outro. Because normally with my videos, I don't too much have an outro. But I'm, I'm working on that as well. So, I just appreciate you guys' support. Continue to support your girl. Thank you guys so much. But, so, since I got all those logistics out the way, let's get into this video, okay? Um, I meant to do an unboxing. My husband brought me a tablet, you guys. So, I am actually recording off of this tablet. And it comes with this um eye pen which i got a cover for this i actually ordered this cover off of amazon and i ordered the case for my tablet off of amazon and it comes with a, like a little keyboard i should have did an unboxing on that but i'll show y'all on a different video for that but anyways um so 2023 been a rough year uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to explain to you guys in this video that um, no one knows but my family. Um, I haven't even shared this with any of my social media sisters. Um, just been a lot trying to figure out life, trying to figure out where I want to go next in my life. Um, a lot has happened. Um, so let me get started off with the first thing. Um, I lost my job at the beginning of 2023. Um, the company that I was working for for almost eight years laid us off. So I got my severance package with that, which was excellent. And then um, I went for my severance package for a couple of months until I was collecting unemployment benefits. Y'all already know how that goes when you collect unemployment benefits. They don't last. They don't last like how they used to back in the, you know, years and years ago when you can get it for like a year or two. Um, this is only for a couple of months. Now, the reason why I say that is because I work in South Carolina, but I lived in North Carolina. So, 
that goes that. So anyways, um, I got a temporary job, which only lasted for like a couple of months. And then I was let go from that, um, for that temp job. And then now I am bat working full time. Um, it's not through temp company. So, um, while that all was going on, I was still having issues with my health. Um, doing the process of me being laid off, um, had issues, so much issues. And then, um, what happened after that? I had got sick again with COVID twice. So that was great with that. And then, um, late last year, beginning of this year, my husband had got real sick. We couldn't figure it out every time we went to the hospital. We don't went to so many hospitals here. We don't went to so many hospitals, so many testing, MRIs, CAT scans, um, x-rays, ultrasound done, and they could not find out what it was. So we went to one particular hospital. We was able to find out that my husband has GERD. He has it real bad, real, real, real bad. He has acid reflux real bad. Um, he can't have no type of acidic foods, fruits, vegetables, like tomatoes, um, pineapples, lemons, oranges, no type of acidic foods. Foods that you think that is healthy for you, he can't even have it. So he has, he had to change his entire eating habit like eating habit. My husband don't eat burgers. He rarely eats chicken. So what my husband have been really eating is um, salmon. And um, I've been doing a lot of steamed vegetables for him. Um, the vegetables that I've been doing is like cauliflower, um, broccoli, a lot of alkaline foods that I've been cooking for my husband. Um, no um, frying, um, no air fryer. The only thing I've been doing is just steaming and baking for him. Um, it's been a lot. He's been in and out of the hospital. There has been times where in the middle of the night we had to go to the hospital. He has to sleep up real high. Um, he also has an ulcer too. So on top of that. So like I said, we've been in and out of the hospital. Um, he has two um, procedures that he have to go to on tomorrow. So today's Tuesday, March the 12th. Yeah, Tuesday, March the 12th. So his procedure is on Wednesday, March the 13th on uh, tomorrow in the morning. So he has to drink like these liquid um, medicines that he had to put in the container. So they're going to actually put him to sleep and then they're going to go in through his throat with the little, this little camera to see how bad his GER, his acid reflux, the, um, the ulcers. And they're also going to be checking for gallstones and make sure he doesn't have that as well. Um, he's been seeing a cardiologist, cardio, cardiologist, can't even pronounce the words right, um, for his heart um, doctor as well. So that's been going on. On top of that, my son was outside playing football, so he broke his tibia. This happened like, I want to say like a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago. No, yeah, it's been about two weeks. So, um, I had to take him to the emergency room. It's like a new emergency room um, here in Charlotte. They go super fast. Like we wasn't, I we got there. I we sat down literally for like maybe three to four minutes, and they immediately called him back. They took his vitals. As soon as they took his vitals, he went straight to the back of the, of the room. Um, they X-rayed him. Came straight back. The X-ray took no more than about five or ten minutes. He came straight back. The doctor came right after the X-rays and told me he broke his tibia. She showed me the X-ray and how he broke it. Um, so the tibia is actually like how you balance. It's like the main bone in your leg, which keeps your weight. So it holds up your weight for your body. So he broke, he broke that. So they had to, they didn't have crutches and they didn't have like the casting stuff for him. Um, because of the type of emergency room. So I wish didn't mind. So they was able to like bandage him up, tape him up. They put like a splint for him for his leg. So he had to be on there for like a week. 
And then they referred us to an ortho, ortho Carolina. So he had to go to ortho um, specialist. So we went to the ortho specialist. They did confirm. They took their own separate x-rays. They did confirm that he did broke his tibia. So I found out that there are certain ortho doctors. There are ones that do like your hands and your arm. And then there's ones that just treat your legs. The one that the emergency room doctor referred us, they only do your arms and your legs. So I, the lady called me. She was like, where's y'all coming here to see what, what type of visit? So I told her, I said, well, my son, he broke his tibia. She was like, well, we don't do that here. But let me call you back. I'm going to talk to a couple of doctors here to see if we can still see your son today. And then also get your earlier appointment due to the inconvenience. I said, go ahead, girl. Go ahead and work your magic. Okay, because this appointment was at 1130. She said, man, we get you at 1015. I said, go ahead. Write me on down. So we got there. The particular doctor can do it, but he only do it for adults. So since my son is 13, I found out that they are pediatrician ortho doctors can do children at a certain age so he had to go and see that particular doctor so i'm like okay cool whatever so his appointment after that was like the very next day so i was like okay cool you know very next day we don't mind and as long as he be seen i don't have to wake like a week or two so they seen him the next day um so he came back his dad took him because i had to go to work so they cast him and so right now he's in a cast he have an appointment next week to see um, where is it at to make sure he doesn't have to have surgery. And if he doesn't have to have surgery, what they're going to do is they're going to take him out the cast and then put him in the boot for a while. So my son is going to be in a boot. So we're dealing with that. And then now my daughter, my baby girl, she's been dealing with asthma ever since she was a baby. On the very day that I was released from the hospital from having her, I had to go right back to the same hospital because my daughter was having breathing problems. She stopped breathing. So ever since then, um, my daughter been having breathing problems. It's, she only have issues when the weather changes. So this particular run time, you know, spring is about to come around. It's been hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. So it's been a lot with the weather. So she had an uh, asthma attack. So, um, this was around about like Saturday evening, um, her, cause I had to go to work on Sundays. So that's a whole different story. y'all. I'll tell you about that. That's going to be a whole different video. So, um, uh, around about Saturday evening, um, her dad took her to the same emergency room. They had to give her two breathing treatments and they had to give her some steroids because her breathing was very, very low. So, and then she, now she has an inhaler. We do have a breathing machine here for her, but she also has an inhaler as well. So, I got to take her to her primary doctor next week for them to get all of her, like her physical, to get all of that checking up to see if they can give her another type of breathing machine better than the one we got here. Okay, so 2023 has been... I've been seeing the doctors, the hospitals, and I'm saying to myself, you know what? I am in the wrong field. I realized that. I think I need to go to become a doctor or a nurse. I think I really do. I think I just need to go ahead and just subscribe myself to be a nurse because I have seen nothing but doctors, nurses, specialists, all of 2023. If it wasn't for my own health, it was for my husband, and then um, 20, now the issues with my son and my daughter, that just happened this month. Um, but what my husband and myself is just been all of 2023, back and forth, back and forth. And I said, you know what? I'm in the wrong field. While I was at the hospital, I was saying to myself, let me just go ahead and grab a white coat and just go ahead and put me some scrubs on a skirt and, you know, a little shirt. And, you know, I got shoes already. I got Crocs, so I might as well just go ahead and just get someone's badge and just go ahead and just start, you know, might as well. <laughs> you know, I'm advocating for my health. I'm advocating for my husband's health, you know, while he's down and out and stuff like that. I might as well just become a nurse and just blend right on in with the people. 
you know. Maybe I can, like, speed up the process sometimes. Because, you know, they do be taking, like, really, really slow. I don't understand from the time they say that you're going to be discharged. It takes an extra two to three hours just to be discharged from the hospital. And you just sitting there waiting, like, okay, you just told me two hours ago I'm going to be discharged. Y'all done gave me what my results is. Why is taking two to three hours? I just want to just go ahead and just put on the coat and just go and sit there and be like, okay, you told that patient in room number 34, um, they was discharged. Why is it taking so long to be discharged? I just want to just go and just, just hear conversations between the doctors and the nurses about these patients because it's, it, it, it's, it's really ridiculous that it takes that long to be discharged. Especially if you are already ran tests, you did blood work, you know, you doing your urine work and you done did your x-rays and your exams and stuff and you done told the, the patient what's going on and it takes all of tomorrow to get here, even though it's today, to be discharged. So I think I am. I'm going to subscribe myself to become a nurse. But anyway, and if I do be a nurse, I'm going to be a good nurse because I care about people. I'm not in it for the money. <laughs> definitely not going to be in for the money. I'm going to be in for the patients to make. And then people say that. They be like, oh, well, I'm going to be here for the patients the next thing they know when they get there. They just in it for food, tuna fish sandwiches and egg sandwiches and egg salad and for the money. But anyways, um, so yeah, so that's been my 2023. Um, it's been a lot going on. Um, I got a lot more story times so that I do want to push out and get out to you guys. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be bringing a whole different new content to the channel. So be prepared for that. This video is not going to be long, you guys. It's just going to be a sit down video. Just reintroducing myself to you guys. Um, letting you know what's been going on. Oh, yeah. Been in a car accident. Yeah. That's the story time I got to tell y'all about that, too. So, yeah. Yeah. Two of them. But I wasn't in the second one. I was in the first one. Along with my husband and the kids. So, it's been a lot going on. So, that's another story time within itself. Yeah. 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 And then there's one particular video that I do want to sit down. Um, it's something that I've been hiding from you guys. A lot of people don't know, um, but my kids and my family. But I do have a solution. Thanks to, thanks to my sister. My sister is going to be coming with the um, coming out with the YouTube channel, you guys. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Once she do, I will put all of her information in my description box so y'all can go straight to her channel once I put the link in there that y'all can go subscribe to her channel. She will be bringing everything. I'm telling the cooking, the mukbangs, the makeup, the hair, the nails, hair growth. Hint, hint, hair growth. Okay? So make sure y'all guys go and subscribe to her channel when y'all do. So when I introduce some of the products that she will be selling that I am using, okay? Y'all make sure y'all go support my sister, okay? I just want to say thank you guys for supporting your girl, holding your girl down, still messaging me. Be like, okay, when you coming back to YouTube, you know, me and YouTube have like this love-hate, you know, relationship, you know. It's a thin line between love and hate with YouTube. I get the start and be like, okay, I'm fine. You know, I'm getting into my groove. I'm putting out the videos for you guys. And then that, bam. Something happens, and then I just get sidetracked it. You know, life has been really lifening, you know. So, we're going to get there eventually, you guys, okay? All right, so stay tuned to my next video, you guys. I appreciate y'all for all the love and support. All right, see y'all in my next video. Peace out.